five years ago, Consumer Reports blended up and tested 50 different baby food products. What they found? This right here, about two thirds of the products contained inorganic arsenic, lead and cadmium as well. Hey, the long term intake of these heavy metals can lead to all kinds of things like lower IQ, behavioral issues, ADHD, even increased cancer risks. Back in 2018 and in our recent tests, baby food snacks like puffs and products made with sweet potatoes and rice fared the worst. That's because certain plants like rice absorb higher levels of heavy metals than other plants. Consumer Reports retested the very same products and now five years later, in three of the products, they found that heavy metal levels declined. But for three others, the levels are still high enough to be concerning for Consumer Reports researchers. Beechnut, Gerber, Earth's Best, and Happy Family responded to Consumer Reports saying their products were safe and that heavy metals are naturally occurring in the environment in which these foods are grown. The makers of Baby Mum Mum products did not respond to Consumer Reports. Now, well, I got to say, Consumer Reports is calling these products out. The FDA is not recalling any of these products, and they routinely monitor levels of toxic elements in baby food. With that said, I want to show you this. The FDA also says right here, rice cereal fortified with iron is a good source of nutrients for infants, but, and there is a but there, it should not be the only source for them, and it does not need to be the first source for them. Health experts say variety is key. Foods that are low in heavy metals include infant cereals made from oats and other non-rice whole grains, as well as fresh and frozen fruit, eggs, beans, applesauce, cheese, and yogurt.